Um, this isn't scripted. <laughs> Hold on. Let me pull my W2 I out. Fucking, I fucking disliked all of us. Alright, welcome to the fucking Sins Podcast. Eat my ass, Kyle. I stared right at you when I said that, too. Which one's Kyle? Kyle looks so <laughs> lost. Alright, allow me to start us off, boys. Jesus. My A-list is Mr. AC. You all will no one cares. Me that. Yeah. My real, you guys call me Goni. Kyle, I will fucking shank you and ride in the cooter. <laughs> <laughs> and I am the lion in the pride. All right, you go. Do you have your mic uh, near your fucking gooch? All right, my name is, or my alias is Raider. Uh, you guys may know me from my insane COD career. I popped off. You probably have seen creator. me. Um, name's Kyle. I am the sin of wrath. I punch things like drywall and stuff. It it's it's evil and I love it too at the same time and yeah that that's that's me. This is it my turn? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I guess it's my turn. All right, what's going on, guys? It's the boy Galaxy Guard. You probably know me from my Skyrim videos. If not, totally understandable. I only have three subscribers. Um, my name. Alias, I'm not gonna give up because I'm just not ready for that kind of fame and fortune. They see it. They see it. And and, and my and my sin is sin of greed. Um, I'm a pretty greedy bastard. I stole all the orphans from the fucking hospital and I shot them all in the goddamn head just because I wanted to steal the bullets, the kit, and the insurance money. Triple win. Uh, <laughs> yes, the funds will be involved. Welcome and you think I'm kidding, I'm not. fucking shit show. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Do you guys see the Top Ramen box in the back yeah, of my I shelf? Could, I can see your Top Ramen box. Yeah, we're sponsoring Top Ramen, fucking, guys. Um, don't cover. forget to go to your local Walmart to sponsor your uh, favorite Top Ramen flavor. Uh, Top Ramen, it's the best noodle boys in town. What? Hey, man, I'm trying to fucking... I'm trying to Fuck. get us some... some <laughs> Some right, kind of revenue. Yeah, that, that's not happening. Where yeah, well, clearly, but I can try. Alrighty then. Are you Spider Man? This is this is not normal Spider Man. This is Black Spider Man. It's Miles Morales. I'm pretty sure they call that Venom. All right, shall we talk about the first thing I decided to write down? Here? Kyle, you've, heard really? this, you've heard this story before, Kyle. I, I told you this. Uh, What's the topic? To, uh, well, this is about an anime because we're all fucking weebs. Don't oh. fucking deny it. Speak to yourself. Should I grab her? Yeah, go go grab your uh, wife, you fellow. While I, uh, I tell everyone the story. He is in such a hurry. <laughs> so not. Uh, <laughs> I can, I can oh, it's the right word. there, just sitting there. Yeah, it's right. Oh God, that, that was that was that was my best <sighs> bet because I got to see. I gotta watch Kyle fucking show that to his parents. That was hilarious. I feel like dad's. I feel like Kyle's dad just like looked at that and just went like, "What? Where, where did I go wrong?" Uh, a lot of places, apparently. Yeah, a lot of places, but we're not gonna talk about that. Instead, we're gonna talk about the fact that the pillow is moving on top of your fucking lap, Kyle. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, I think the other side is this exercise too. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> Does it smell like cum stains? I bet it smells like cum stains. <laughs> oh, lie. Oh, there is a stain on there. Fuck. <laughs> Please tell me. Hey, turn around. Point out the stain. Yeah, show us the stain. stain. Yeah, show me the stain. I'll is it like a hard stain or is it like a... Oh, shit. Um, oh, man, Kyle, that's one crazy stain. Um, Next. All right, yeah, let's let's get on with the first thing I wanted to talk about, which was a Fuck certain bitch. anime site called My Anime List. You guys may have heard of it. Gigux talked about it. A lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, so sure. at the beginning of this winter season, an anime came out, and it was borderline uh -huh. hentai. Yeah, that, have you ever seen High School of the Dead? This was somehow no. worse than High School of the Dead. Is this what was I think it is? Officially dubbed by Funimation, and it's called Air Species Review. Oh, that's and already the third episode. Cool. It was literally just hentai. Apparently, I like that. I like literally, hentai. like. Hang on. So wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. What's it called? I'm gonna YouTube it right now. <laughs> uh, it was called uh, my uh, air species review. 
I'm gonna look up my interspecies review on YouTube, and so much different shit is probably gonna fucking pop up. Just look it up on like Google, and you'll probably find way more fucked up shit. <laughs> Found it. <sighs> Anyways. How the fuck do you spell species? Oh my fucking god. I'm fucking illiterate. Look at the grammar Nazi. That's all S P E C I E S. Wait, so C I E S or C I E S E? S P E C I E S. Oh, hey, it did it for me. <laughs> fucking hate this. Got my my inner species, what? Review. Review. All right, so was, like after I think it was the third episode that aired, and it was just real. It was like just straight hentai. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna screenshot what came up real quick because <laughs> the second image is a little concerning. I don't want to see it. <laughs> you really do though. Um, you not really on, do. Not on, not on podcast. No, so on I the can't fucking check messenger. It. My phone's my fucking light because I have shit lighting. Kyle, check it out, please. Fucking just check the messenger. <laughs> This is, this is oh shit dude like why did that pop up hold, hold out to the camera so i can see it the third it's... one no the second one the one with the fucking oh. unicorn uh it's so hard it, it won't render because it's super light it's super bright Maybe if i turn it okay down. well the basic gist of it is inner species and yeah it's the fucking unicorn from my little pony <laughs> so that's a lot that's really concerning <laughs> right off the bat okay anyways back to the actual story third episode just straight hentai funimation decided to literally just take it off their site completely and they aren't dubbing it anymore probably a good idea a the chad known as fucking nux taku he's an anime fucking youtuber decided to flood his his fan base decided to flood um uh fucking hold on i have written down here my anime list because i never fucking used it before and they'd flooded my anime list with reviews for it, giving it 10 out of 10s, and it became the highest ranked anime on the fucking list. <laughs> Do you know why? No. Yeah, and it was so funny, because Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood was the highest ranking, and their fandom is strict as fuck. And when they saw everyone flooding uh, Interspecies Reviewers for number one, they they just decided to have a war with the trolls. And just, it was a constant back and forth between the two. And it was, honest to God, the fucking funniest thing I have ever witnessed in the past couple of days. And even Miami List fucking decided to uh, weigh in on this. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> so they started changing stuff. And in the comments for the reasons why that they were changing the stuff, they mentioned two YouTubers that started it all and just... I have nothing but respect for uh, Nux. That was hilarious. Dude, that's, my how ass you your, that's how you bring a community together. To you, use that is good use of a hu having a huge following. It's making head tied number one. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, I went to go scratch my ass and I can't tell if this fucking white thing is a piece of toilet paper or fucking wart. Why would you nut to that? That, that was a hundred percent of bra moment. Okay, I've already. That was a hundred percent of bra moment. Dude, I kind of need to fucking shave my asshole. I fucking I I even told John this when I jerk off, I literally just eyes just go black, and I I get knocked out and when I wake up when everything's all done and I just look down to see the abhorrent shit I was watching. I mean, you know, aren't you, guys... you ever worried about lay aren't you ever worried about landing in your own fucking cum there, buddy? Oh, I mean... bust a nut, fall forward. <laughs> I mean, I have, I have bust a, a nut, falls rag. asleep. <laughs> Just wake up with drool, that's not drool. <laughs> okay, one of the guys I played football with decided to tell us a story and it was the most fucking retarded thing ever. He's like, You oh, should yeah, definitely this... do that. Yeah, no. What, he's like, oh, one time I almost, I cu I came on the corner of my mouth. I'm like, How? did you lick it? Did he lick yeah. it? <laughs> the first thing <laughs> I was like, did he lick it? Kyle, your your laser like focus <laughs> with that question just did he lick it? <laughs> did, he, <laughs> did he fucking lick it? Yeah. Fuck. I fucking, if he didn't exactly fucking lick it, he did it wrong. Exactly. 
He's like, you know what's gonna be? And I Go asked ahead. him, dude. How even your it. eye, even your eyes, like shot over with the question. Just did he, he fucking like, lick it? Did he lick it? This is gonna be funny because when you go to upload this video on YouTube, you legitimately are gonna have to click. Is this video for kids? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We hey, I found the intro. Come shots, jerking off, masturbating. You know. What? I say it's for kids. Yeah, this is for kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we gotta be sure. We gotta be sure that we're not too intimidating. All right, small dicks for kids. <laughs> dicks, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we gotta make sure they gotta let them know that we're grown up. All right, big hairy dicks for kids. <laughs> How do we let them know that we're veiny though? Oh, that's easy. You just gotta put a blood strap on. Damn it! Fucking hate all of us. Anyways, the way he told me how he did it was that he was in a he was in like a reclining chair and he was all the way back. How okay? Who jerks off fully laid I back? I'm not saying his I name. <laughs> all you need to know. I'm is standing. At, I feel like it was Bollinger. No, it was not. Bullinger. <laughs> I, I hope he watches. I hope he watches this just so he's too. like. <laughs> I hope he watches it just so he's like, "Fuck you, Derek." Oh yeah. shit. I I don't think that man jerks off. Oh, there's my alias. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we've we been calling you Derek. No, you haven't. Yeah, we have. Oh, really? Wow, I just Derek fucking Derek. noticed. All right, shall I move on to the next topic? Or, or yes. Uh, I don't even know what the fuck we talked about just Hentai. now. Hentai. Sure. Okay, I, I wrote something on here because I thought it'd be funny. I just got done watching a video about this. What, uh -huh. was, your, what was your first waifus, like early kid waifus? Fuck. Like my first waifu, that's probably Kate Upton. Easy. Okay, that's not a waifu. That, that's just I jerked. Oh wait, off. Really, I jerked off Like, a what do you mean by waifu? By someone he, I and two D. Yes, cartoon, anime, that kind of shit. Oh, anime, fucking awesome. Um... Really? Really? Oh, uh, fucking Derek. <laughs> Dude, that one episode where she was getting raped. Love it. <laughs> That wasn't rape, that was molestation. <laughs> that was just, Dude, yeah, she was, was hung was up and getting stripped down. She was getting raped. You can't even tell me. Um, that was not rape. Uh, who? She was literally tied up, hands hung, Katie Toe's just sitting there with a fucking sword in his back, and the oh licking her oh neck. Oh my god, shit. you can't say that either. <laughs> what? You said, said what was- you text him what he keeps saying? Because all I hear is beeps. Yeah, those are all beeps. Yeah, those are all beep, beep, beeps. beep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to do more. Work. You're you're giving more work for the yeah. editor. Fuck you. What are you talking about? You, you just just text him what he keeps saying so we can avoid this. Anyways, well, and I want to put this clear out there for all of you. Lola Bunny does not make you a furry. Lola Bunny from fucking Space Jams does not. Dude, mine's Misty brother. from Pokemon. F my brother. <laughs> brother. Oh my god, it's 2020. <laughs> what about you, Cut? All right, all right. I'll I'll throw out one of my very early ones. Uh, back when I was really young, I used to watch Dragon Ball on Toonami a lot. So I feel like you got young. off to the one where the dude was just slapping. What's her name's freaking shit in the middle of her sleep? Just oh, where is oh, that's, it? That's the old Dragon Ball cartoon. <laughs> I remember that because I saw it on Pornhub. <laughs> oh shit! Dude, like <laughs> literally, literally, was... what the, the kid the walks Toriyama up to the a fucking turd. He, was... he literally walks up to the walks sleeping the girl it, it, it and Mola. then just pulls cat, pulls up cat. her dress or whatever. Hey, where's the wiener? No, and like, smacks hey, it. Bulma, your balls are gone. <laughs> yeah, oh like God. says literally something like that, and I'm just it's sitting there like, like this balls. Is a kid, where are they? Like, no, they're and then he talking about? And then he pushes up the skirt again, and then he's like all red faced, and then she's like, "Oh, don't worry, the dragon balls are over here." And he's like, "Uh, <laughs> what?" No, I was talking about Android 18. What the fuck? Ugh. You made me remember that shit when he Sorry. just walked in, clueless as hell, Sorry. just, <laughs> just I, smacking. I, I've I've done something that Kyle ha cannot do for the life of him, and I've kept the same waifu for such a long time. Derek's is the same, 
because he sees himself as fucking Bond, so he likes the fucking child. He likes a lolly. Hell yeah. Yeah, Elaine. Oh, I see. What is my Gotta go to local yeah, kindergarten. Yeah, now, Kyle? Huh? I don't know. Fucking month after fucking, uh, what, Darling in the Franks ended, <laughs> Kyle just yeah. moved on from Zero Two. I really hope your girlfriend sees this podcast. I hope so, too. I don't think I have a wife right now. You need a good answer. You I don't have an answer. Disappointed in you. I'm not. I don't watch anime anymore. No, Kyle, no, no. I can think of a... I think of, um... I can think of a lot of wifes. No, there was one. You wouldn't shut the hell up. Um... Um, how to be an adventure? That one oh, goddess bitch. Not, no, that was not <laughs> never a wife. What, what was her fucking name again? I can't uh, no, I no way. That's right. Oh god. I, I. No, no wait. No wait. Rem. Oh Rem. Fuck. No Rem was never a wife who either. I Fuck swear to God, man. you had a background yeah. of Rem. I swear to he God. He, he I mean, I had a background of Rem, but I had it for the anime itself. It wasn't for Rem because you. Wasn't okay. Wife. Okay. Well, that was close. Rem was best girl. That was a meme for the longest fucking time. It really was. Uh, Amelia? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Amelia. No. Who's Rem? No, no. Who's Rem? I can't remember, dude. You've had, like, just... Ah, man. I don't have a waifu right every now. Other week with him, like, he would think yeah, that's what I'm saying. Him. Like, dude, he used to be in the anime like so fucking much. Girls that I always thought, like, fucking uh, Revy from Black Lagoon. She was fucking awesome. So wait, are we on YouTube right now, or are we just recording? We're recording for, like, recording for YouTube. For later. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, I didn't know if we were live or if this no, was we're not live pre-recording. Podcast. We're pre-recording. You have Down Syndrome, Derek. I could say a couple more N-words, man. I swear to God, I'm holding it back. You better be holding it back. What do you think I'm doing right now, no person? <laughs> you person? <laughs> hey, I... something to try to beat myself. Next. Head with. Yeah. All right. Next. Topic. All right. This one's something very dear to Kyle's heart. Oh, oh God. <laughs> uh, it is the rising popularity of Escape from Tarkov. Fuck yeah! Yeah, I know. I like him so good. I've been playing that game so much recently. God, I, uh, they, they pulled a fucking alpha move and they got that game so fucking recognizable. And then they fucked up because they're like, oh shit, yeah, we were weren't ready prepared. for this. They, they were too successful. They were not prepared for it. They were way too successful. Oi, sorry to interrupt. I'm going to take this one for a timeout. Just let me know when the next question I'm happens. Time out. Well, it's, it's I'm going to go, games, Derek. I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette. That's all I'm saying because I don't play this shit. So? so I'm going to have no idea what the fuck and... It's going to go into a broad spectrum. Yeah. It's okay, like, well... Well, uh, what I wanted to go into is, like, what EFT did and what other video games companies should be doing to kind of, like, uh, get their name out there. Because EFT uh, is a pretty small community for... They were, they were, it went from, I think, like, 7,000 players yeah, to was. over 100,000 within Crazy the span of a week. Man. I invited him to this. <laughs> I know you did. Uh, Crazy shit. Uh huh. Yeah, it, it's it's the fucking. It, it was a really good oh, fucking yeah, move. Oh, my crazy. God. <laughs> Don't guy. you love podcasts? I I, do, I know, right? They're so fun. They're so fun, fun to work with. Yeah, I know. Right? So fun to work with. Uh, anyways, what EFT did was honestly like. It, it was such a good move. I'm, I, I never actually thought, thought of something like that because EFT has a really good, basically like they just gave out free stuff for people who are watching streamers of mm -hmm. the game, and then the streamers that. started, you know, people started getting more views. It started getting buffed up on Twitch. People started talking about it. Like it, everyone was playing fucking Karkov. Mm -hmm. Even like a lot. Even like fucking uh, critical. He was playing mm -hmm. fucking Karkov, and so was Spider yeah. Souls. Yeah, I was about to say Spider Souls was playing it too. A lot of Rust, um, a lot of Rust content creators moved over to Tarkov as well. And they're both really similar games. Yeah, like, they really games are. Games like that that can give you stuff that you you can lose in game, and give you stuff that'll make your in game a lot better. Like Tarkov, like Rust, 
Mm-hmm. They can do stuff like that, and get if they you know partner up with Twitch, they can do stuff like that. The thing that I love about Tarkov is that the game itself, besides the viewer and the fan, like the fan base and everything like that, is the game is so unique and how it how it runs it and everything like that. It's really it, it's it's one of the most realistic games that you that's out there. That's a base game without like modding and stuff like that. Like Arma. Arma itself is not really like like it's realistic it's on the movement and everything. It's really tactical, but until you add mods, like the game is just a base game. Whereas this game, it puts you in the world, and it gives you no help exactly. whatsoever, unless you have friends or you've watched videos previously to that point. Other than that, you know you're stuck in a world that you just you do what you want to do in it, and then you learn from your mistakes. That's the one thing that sucks is like. Tarkov is a really good game, and just, it's, I mean, granted, it, it has its problems, every game does, but this game has a major amount of problems, which they're working on, um, is that people in the beginning don't understand that, like, you're gonna fucking die a lot, yeah. you're gonna die so much, and it's, people don't get past that point. It, it, it pisses you off a lot. Oh yeah, it does, I, I, I played the game, like, yeah. The only thing that's really holding it back is server issues. They Which they fixed a lot. As they, they have got. fixed a lot of server problems that I've had. A lot of the problems that we were experiencing, yeah. I haven't had in a while. Uh, I still get desynced a lot, but desync's going to be a thing. Desync's in Destiny Two, and Destiny Two, uh, the, and Bungie's a AAA company, and desync still exists. Just like, for example, Battlefield, desync yeah. exists. Call of Duty, desync exists. Granted, some of them, you know, have less. But Tarkov is a really small community. There's a really small team, Based like the developers Russia. and everything, and they're in Russia. Yeah. And I don't. I think people don't give them enough credit because everybody just is like, "Oh, this is a shit game because I can't play." And they don't understand that a lot of the developers who work on the servers and everything like that are working 24 hour days to keep the servers they running were, perfectly fine. I have mad respect for the people that made Escape from. Tarkov. That's that's why when i upgraded to eod i didn't do it for just you know the benefit of the doubt like you know extra stash space i i did it for i i did it because i want to give them as much money as i can that's why i didn't care about the the sale or anything like that i was 100 percent perfectly okay with spending like the 160 dollars that you needed to spend to get it yeah well worth it in my opinion but respect for them and like, they make a really good game. It's even like uh fucking uh, what was the game? Division. It's mm. like the whole concept of like their dark zones. Yeah. Just taken to their extreme. Yeah, I I, I enjoyed really Division One. Experience, you know? I enjoyed the Division, the first one. I have I I've played the second and I've gotten close to beating the campaign. Somebody's calling me on Discord. Uh, Alright, I'm back. The timing of that. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. But uh, the Division Two was a game I couldn't get behind. I don't know, so boring. Yeah, it was kind of boring. Like I felt like the end game was pretty cool, but just the grind to get there is just so. It's one of the problems that Destiny used to have. Yeah. Destiny right. Because I remember taking all three of my characters, getting them through the campaign the first time around. It was just slugging through the fucking campaign. It was just so. See, Before, that's like, the thing too. The second time wasn't that bad. The third time was fucking awful. That's the thing too. Like for example, when we, if you look back at Destiny One, right? Like now, like when we played Destiny One, we made three characters. The dreading of having to do another character to run through the campaigns, all of them again, sucks. But if like for example, if Destiny One ever gets put it on PC, I will happily run through everything again. Derek, you're a with the with your mic. With the Without a doubt. I was gonna say, I remember when the Crypt Arc used to fuck us on a daily basis. Oh yeah. Oh, God, fuck you, <laughs> flashbacks. Like, Let's there, open up a legendary. There's an animation on fucking. There's an animation on fucking YouTube, and it it, it just summarized the Crypt Arc from fucking Q1 so well. It was like I have a fucking perfect warlock talk about. that got that got an ingram. He's like, you, oh, I fucking just saved the goddamn galaxy, mm-hmm. and all I got was this stupid fucking armband. That's fucking 40 light levels below the one already had. <laughs> and then the crypt arc is like, the encryptions on this are so, so. I know, what, I know what yeah, video you're talking about. Yeah, him over the head with a fucking encryption. Uh, dude, a... like, 
Sorry, but every single time I saw people going to the ingr like Crypt Arc with legendary engrams, I was like, dude, just wait for the exotic engrams. That's your better chance. It's a perfect game that I, I want to talk about that was a game that should have been a fluke that became super successful on their own, and that's Digital Extremes Warframe. They originally made a game called Dark Sector, and that game itself, I mean, going to play it now probably would be fun, but itself, and nobody wanted futuristic games, and when they came up with their idea of Warframe, any no developers, no team wanted to help them out or do any of that, so they decided to do it on their own, and now Warframe, even though it's it can be very bland of a game, uh, when you get towards endgame, there's so much content in a game that is all free, that and like all these companies are like regretting their decisions and now looking back on it but like yeah, that's a game that needs to be recognized because yeah warframe has a, a big following but that game itself there's so much shit to do if you come into that game brand new you're going to be lost but once you start understanding the shit you're going to just have goals in mind throughout the entire thing super fun game it, it, well it worth it the one thing I wish that they would add for you, Yoni, is being uh, able to transfer your accounts yeah, over from no, consoles, never, which they've done that before. They've done that before. I think they only did it for PC to Nintendo yeah, Switch when they did the Nintendo Switch promotion. I got my room. Other than that, other than that um, they yeah, haven't really done it. But if they added something like that, it'd be super cool. Gotta add some spice to this. Yeah, that's like the whole reason I don't play Warframe anymore is because I, I know to PC completely and, like, and like none of us play console or any, anything like that so it's 100% understandable that grind's a fucking yeah. grind and, and I put in like hundreds of dollars worth of mm -hmm. crap that's the thing my PC account I started playing it again my PC account's 10 times higher than my console account but that's just oh, because fuck I yeah, put dude. in the time but I, I fucking love that game granted I mean I only play Tarkov really right now <laughs> But holy shit, yeah, that was... there's some a lot of good games that people don't understand, especially like yeah. Tarkov is a game. I, granted, I understand shooters aren't for everybody, especially a game like that. That's um, the only reward is reward. The, yeah. But the reward the reward aspect is a hundred percent worth it. Like what we were doing earlier today. Granted, yeah. three of us died, but you know somebody got out with fat fucking yeah. loot. And then fucking everyone's like, oh, let's run this, uh, the TT pistol, because mm. fuck, fuck everything. <laughs> and I'm over right? here, like, I spent... I'm gonna take a shot time. every time you guys say Tarkov. Oh my god. I'm on number four. I'm over here with the fucking assault rifle pistol. Took a crap, <laughs> put the fucking mag on, put a fucking silencer on, put the fucking stock... Just to get dotted. Yeah, and then I just walk in and someone full fucking beard, Alton helmet. I, I I don't know what body armor he had. They were wearing fucking killer body armor. Me, yeah, shoots me right in the fucking face. I'm like, oh, well, fuck me. <laughs> right? I was so yeah. The moment you that. screamed that they had Altons out, I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Of course, we get put in the lobby with two bumblefuck sweat <laughs> I told. I even said that too before we even started. We're gonna get put with two people running full fucking kits. Sure enough, two motherfuckers, level five body armor, level five helmets. Yeah, yeah that's great. I love the game. And we killed both of them. Four people with no body armor and pistols. Exactly. Uh, trying to. Oh, hey, hey. Sorry, going back to Destiny One. Loot cave. Oh, God. oh my God! You that's, how, just... that's how I got my carrot, my Titan to level twenty. That, that's how I fully <laughs> upgraded the fucking uh, warlock uh, sun, uh, the self res tree all up all the way. Cause like Dude, I never remember... use the super until mm -hmm. I got self res. And even then, the super was actually really good if you were tactical and you used like Viking's funeral. Yeah, like, it was the greatest your, thing. Your melees became one hit. You know, it was the greatest thing ever. <laughs> what? Uh, you, uh, you know, just playing Trials of Osiris and oh, killing a warlock and then watching, oh, yeah. watching my it. scope him getting rezzed. Oh my god, I remember D1, or when D2 first came out, everyone was gonna play, everyone would just start shit-talking warlocks. Because, you know, self-rez was a thing back then, they bitched about how people got butt-fucked because they wouldn't watch the warlock who had self-rez. 
I'm like, that's the easiest fucking Dude. kill. You just that is... sit there with a fucking sniper rifle. Unless they're wearing the ram yeah, with b- like max art, like max max armor and shit, you're gonna one yeah, tap a warlock in the noggin. <laughs> Dude, literally, I remember every single time a son of fucking self rezzing warlock would be dead. You just have yeah, three people everyone from would just watch him. <laughs> just on snipers, just have like three little red dots coming from each side of the map, yeah. and they're like self res, and you're like, that's a stupid idea. Yeah. I, I'm I, gonna I get three sniper moments. shots. I remember those moments. Fucking, uh, I forget who we were playing with, but I think Kyle was with me and someone else. We were doing trials, and fucking, uh, and I was, I was, I'm a warlock, and I was, I had self res on. Everyone's like, self res, dude, we're gonna lose the round. I'm like. There are three fucking scopes. <laughs> what the fuck do you think? Is I will happen? lose. I would lose the round if, it, if, it, if it's the last round, dude. Last... dude but like, it, but... if uh, if it's like you have like two rounds left, I will I will wait Save until next round. round. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I just loved how like we would play with fucking Kyle, and as soon as he died, me and Goni would just either commit suicide or oh, just God. die. <laughs> We're like, oh, our carry is slide. gone. No, I was, dude. Oh, God, the the carry is gone. Kill and yourself. I remember Trials and I was the first time I ever got Trials flawless. Yeah. Who were we playing with? Uh. Uh, I remember it was you, me, and I couldn't remember who was the other two guys. But one they were IRLs. Be in a lack of these they were IRLs. Was it Gabe and Maverick? Uh, I don't think it was Gabe or Maverick. I remember. I remember we were trying to do it with Caden. Remember we were trying to do it with Caden and I, and he 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 got their team to help him. We did it with one of them too. I know we did. I don't. It may have not been both, but I know we did it with them. I just one of remember them. one of them got screwed over because he got DC'd. And oh, still want oh in the game. fuck yeah! I remember so that. We got DC'd, and uh, we tried, we tried, we got, him, we got all the rest of the wins. I think he needed three more, and then we lost a round. Yeah, and I remember like, this. We we got the difficulty gets like bumped up because once you get and it matches you, you with people of points. your level. Yeah, yeah. It, it, ma- it matches you with people on your card. Like like if it matches you with people on your card. So let's yeah. say like you have five wins and you need. I think it was what was it seven or nine. Uh, regardless you need a wins, nine, nine straight. Wins. Regardless, let's say you're at five wins. It's gonna match you with people close to five wins as it is. It does that, and now skill based matching matchmaking is the thing in Destiny. Okay. Yeah, you just you get the first few matches. Oh, these blueberries are yeah, easy, right. and you get to the so sixth, seventh, and they're like, oh, these guys can actually play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was back when like you had two primaries and heavy weapons, and no yeah, let's talk weapons. about let's talk about competitive in Destiny right now. Oh, God. Um, first of all, I haven't been keeping up with it much, but holy fuck. Alright, so let me, believe, believe me, uh, let me tell you, your boy's in that shit right now, and, uh, the kettle, the kettle didn't get much fucking colder since you guys left. Because now we got, now we got Devil's Ruin, Bastion, which is a slug round shotgun, and I have it, and I, dude, it is a fucking shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. It, it shoots the three. It bolts. is not a fusion rifle. It is a yeah. fucking shotgun. It's I refuse to believe it. I have no desire to do any form of competitive ever again because I already got my not forgotten. Oh god, I want. I need a not forgotten. To... It's not even that good anymore. No, they ruined the gun. I still yeah, have my fucking. I still have my auto rifle from uh, from that one scary season. Halloween season, uh, whatever. Oh, the the, the Tech, Tech werewolf. Yeah, the Bray Tech. The yellow, the fucking yellow wolf. Thing, the the Bray Tech is it the Bray Tech Beowulf or something. Yeah, it's called yeah. Beowulf. I just call it the yellow wolf, dude. It fucking dude for an auto rifle, it does kick a little ass. Yeah. Fuck I don't know if you guys. It's starting to buff auto rifles. With... Destiny one before everything. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fucking tap firing with Suros regime. Galahan D, everything. Galahan oh, D, which is like a mid mid uh mid fire rate auto rifle that shank thing like Dude. thirty something plus to the fucking noggin yeah. not stop. See, I don't know if I was not. Oh, I, I I know for a fact I wasn't the only. I know for a fact I wasn't the only one, but it was fucking bullshit, dude. That my last exotic that I got at Destiny was the Galahorn. Oh yeah, see my my first exotic was Gal. Dude, my last was Galahorn. I literally just had Galahorn left. I was like, dude, 
I just need Gallahorn. That is the one exotic I was missing. And then fucking Zur sells it before Destiny 2 releases. Uh, and I'm like, well, great. Now it doesn't matter. I just got a bunch of stuff for my job. Like yeah. what? I can't say that I'm on stream or on yeah. video. Paperwork bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's fun. Taxes. My taxes already filed. <laughs> Fuck taxes. <laughs> Turbo tax. God, what was your guys' first exotic? I remember mine. I remember my first two. Monte Carlo. Yeah. No remember their first. Second, second one was Gallahorn. My, my first... last exotic that I needed to get was Hawkman. The only one I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, that took you forever. Right, dude, first... the, I'm so sad. You remember, you dude, know? do you remember? Dude, hang on. I remember this one time. Oh. Kyle lost his shit. Oh you guys were in the middle of doing a Crota Heroic Raid or whatever. And I join as soon as you guys beat Crota. And I get a Hawk Moon. And <laughs> Kyle gets a Legendary. It, and he funny. lost it. It's he funny, too, because like, the no, same no, no, no. raid... The same raid I got, or not that raid, but the same that same raid, um, a Crota raid, I also got my Hawkmoon from it. Yeah, dude, literally. And then, like, two, three after that, he got his. But I was just like, dude, I just joined, and it gave me a free Hawk Moon. Fuck no, that's yeah. That was when Goni and I first started playing the fucking game. I want to tell game. the story. I want to tell the story. Okay, go ahead. So, back before I knew what I was doing with Destiny, <laughs> my first exotic was Gallahorn, and I got it in a Crucible match. But my second one, and it's the most infamous moment, it's one of the most <laughs> infamous moments that I think our playgroup had. Kyle and uh, our old buddy, Zach. They were, we were it wasn't Zach. Up, was, who was it then? It was Chip Fishman. Oh yeah, fucking uh, Daddy is he. Mm -hmm. They were they were doing the strike where uh, basically all you do is go under the stairs and shoot the boss. That strike, and uh, I literally joined in, and I was there for about five seconds, and then they killed the boss, and just I see in the top right pop up Hawkmoon exotic. I was like, oh. I got the hawk moon and just Kyle loses his fucking. Shit. I was so he fucking was so mad. Pissed. It was the funniest fucking thing. I was like, "Oh, I got hawk moon." He was like, "You what? What?" <laughs> Dude, I was so pissed. I was. Dude, so I can't pissed. remember what video or what you got that I wanted that I got pissed off. But I was. Just, I remember an old video of you posting in Destiny. And just like we were doing a nightfall, and you got an exotic, and I was just, I lost it. I don't remember. I don't it's been so either. long. I'm pretty sure it was like Salt Mine discovered in Destiny or some bullshit like that. Oh, I, I no, uh, you, you guys remember uh, my most, my infamous video, and I showed Kyle's, well, Kyle's. Yeah, Kyle's no, dude, video. literally, dude. When people's, when, when I feel like when people hear about this video, they're like, what are they talking about? And we're like, dude, it was literally a fucking badass gaming video good funny clip that he deleted because oh. he thought i said something oh yeah, yeah my fucking and that wasn't even that wasn't even the thing i said i know and, I and you like, well, confirmed I deleted it and i can't fucking get it back because i had share factory at the time and i didn't mm -hmm. once, it, once it got uploaded just deleted yeah, yeah no, oh, and then I literally remember like... that. i remember the fucking nightfall i remember we were all fucking screaming because it was the one where we we had to fight that fucker in the dark, and he's got that big ass sword, and he raped us. Yeah, that's the dude that gives you the special helmet for Titans, uh, dude. Do yeah. you remember his boss exclusive shit? Oh uh, yeah. I thought that was a pretty cool gimmick in Destiny. Like boss, I thought that had, Destiny two they have boss exotic or boss. Uh, they have boss drops for like special what? specific. Ooh. Well, oh, I know because I've gotten a couple, but I'm just like. Yeah. When it was really, really random, and you could just kill that boss over and over, and you just grind your perfect roll, yeah, but now it's just, but now it's just yeah. you kill, you kill it once, you get the gun, and that's the gun you're gonna get next time. Well, yeah, because no, 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 no I mean, not those. yes, they are, but then there's the curated. Yeah. Yeah. The curated, you can just keep forgetting it. You can delete it, rebuy it. Fuck it. Guys. Oh, those are good old days. Remember, fuck, God, do you remember back when you could drop Atheon off the fucking map? Yeah, <laughs> I remember, because uh, that was the first time I actually beat Atheon, was 
I noble bombed or we were just noble bombing him off the map and he just walked off. That was the <laughs> thing ever. It was definitely satisfying just oh. to see him. God, you guys remember fucking solo and Kodo? That was so Dude. That was so fucking... that, that was I... Dude, I remember doing that with Kyle so many times. Mm hmm. Literally <laughs> just me and me I... and him just fucking just all right let's do Kuroda's raid and we'd get it done in like a half hour we got flawless. stupid good that's how I I beat a raid without anybody in my fire team dying yeah, yeah literally because I because yeah, we I like didn't die Alice. well no no I did mine solo that's how I got mine I did mine solo oh I no remember, I'm talking about the time I'm I know, talking about the I ones know, where we I'm went. talking about when I got the trophy for it and oh I yeah did yeah mine solo yeah. And the only the only one I needed to get platinum for for Destiny One was run a, a full raid with uh, five other clanmates. Um, only one I needed. Dude, do you remember how easy it was to get raids and fire teams and just yeah. fucking anything in Destiny One? Now oh, in yeah, Destiny Two, it just kind of seems kind of a pain in the ass. Because like back on back on the console and shit, someone posts up on the page, "Hey, I need help with this raid. Just fucking add me or send me a message," and they just you know send you an invite. But dude, on here, I'll do. I'll see. I'll see six, seven different posts. That's like, "Hey, just slash join me. Here's my Steam code," and I'm like, "Dude, your fucking settings don't let me join." And then I'm sitting there messaging, 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 and they're not answering, but they had enough time to put it on a fucking post, but right. they don't respond back. Yeah. And I'm like, and dude. like the, the in-app. Like, you can hit join game, and then it won't let you do it. Yep. It doesn't work, right? Oh, uh, it was so fucked. It's like, dude, like, honestly, if it was just a little bit more, e like, if you post something up on the fucking, you know, on the destiny app you, you think that. you think the first thing you do is oh i better change my settings so random people can join me because that's what i'm looking for yep. but 90 percent of the time it's just oh i need help <laughs> how come no one's joining and i'm Crazy. like maybe because you're a fucking idiot i don't know yeah oh, god it's a fucking the, the app can just be a fucking nightmare sometimes it's... god i'm gonna fucking take another yeah, shot yeah. I'm gonna fucking migraine just remembering. God. Right. I remember, I remember doing fucking raids on D2, like the Leviathan when it first came out, and that, that, was, that was a rough one. Leviathan was fucking rough. Dude, I was yeah. trying to fucking join some people to do that earlier, because I still haven't done any single raid. Like, any single raid in Destiny 2 right now, I have not done one. Oh, favorite, <laughs> favorite raid of Destiny 2. Ah, uh, fuck. I, um, I, I'm gonna say fucking, uh, Scourge of the Past. Really? I, I actually enjoyed that raid a lot. I I enjoy Scourge of the Past, but I know my favorite, because it's the most mechanically inclined. Which oh, dude. Fucking Last Wish? No. Garden of, a Garden of Salvation. Oh, fuck the newest one. Yup. Dude, I was gonna say, bro, my first, because we were going back to it, but I remembered, I was like, what was my first exotic? <laughs> fucking Icebreaker. You remember oh, that shit? Fuck. The Notorious Icebreaker. The, and the, the Notorious Icebreaker. The, the one that gave you free shots. ammo. Free yeah. ammo. And we, we were all, everybody would always use Icebreaker. Fucking free ammo. Dude, yeah. that made soloing like 99.9% .9 yeah, fucking easier. I swear mm -hmm. on God. Oh, kept, yeah. just kept that distance and just... Yeah, <laughs> literally <laughs> just 50 yards away, I have my Icebreaker just... Click one ammo. Do you remember doing that one nightfall but when we first started playing the game? It was the one with the Hydra. And yeah. you you would snipe everything from up top. You would have some, one person jump all the way to the bottom to start this, the thing. And then hey, you would have oh, everybody else sit up top. And... Right? Or like the first yeah. nightfall. Yeah. God, Dude. And then they would spawn the that. <laughs> and then we would... that all day. Yeah. And then we would spawn the Minotaur oh, God. in the back. Yeah. Dude, during the beta, I remember just thinking like, oh man, the Devil's Walker. This is probably oh, going to be the hardest no, boss in Destiny. Non-stop non running that motherfucker for level 7 and level 8. Dude, literally all I just thought the whole time was just like, 
oh man, this must be the ultimate boss in this shit. Yeah, what right? are they going to have to top this? And now they got Destiny 2. And one of the levels, you fight a literal giant bat. Oh, like, God. what the fuck is going on? Did you guys see... Uh, that, that was the timer, by the way. But I just wanted to add one last thing. Did you guys see what I fucking put in the chat? Ricky no. With fucking pants. Oh, fuck, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, God, that, that, that's, that's fucking... Mm, she's so thick. Oh, hey, Goni, episode 13 for the Seven Deadly Sins is out. 13? 18. Uh, uh, 18, yeah. I'll, I'll go watch it later tonight. Anyway, that's but... all the time we have, folks. Uh, try to keep this short. Yeah, Sorry. he has to do a lot of editing. Yeah, I don't yeah. care. It, it's okay. Mm -hmm. We all love you. Anyways, that's all the time we have. I'll probably... This again next week maybe. yeah if we're lucky next week what every every friday to a podcast yeah, yeah. i mean i already got that a was... fucking routine for the weekends so that's yeah too bad. fuck yeah so do i right. i'm i play video games exactly uh -huh. so we'll uh i don't know what's a good outro fuck off um we'll fuck off not you we'll fuck off buy an ar <laughs> but fucking 21st birthday goals by an AR. Remember, kids, if you purchase the AR-15 before Christmas, be sure to claim your taxes on your settlements before the insurance comes through, and then you won't get fucked by the government. Good enough to end on. Alright, let's end this. <laughs>